going to show you how we look up a commutator switch or an oven control switch for a SMEG A15 cooker. And here we go into the search box in SMEG Tech with A1. And you can see there are a lot of models that start A1. 408 of them, or have A1 in the, as the characters in the, the model number. Um, most of them obviously aren't relevant, so we need to find the one that we are looking for. And if you have a look, you can see there's a lot of A1 cookers. So once we find the A15, we click on that. And after this, what will happen is uh, we will get a, a PDF document in effect in a window there and a principal parts list. Um, and on SMEG we can get some images to see what we're looking at, but not a lot, and whether they're current is open to debate. But there you go, there's a spare parts list. That's pretty atypical of the appliance industry, um, where you get a blowout diagram, and it's just generic, can be used in different models. Um, it's not specific to any one model normally. And once we find our commutator switch, there we go. That's it there. And we can see that the number there is um, it's got a, a number on it, but all that is a position number on the drawing because they can be generic and used for different models. So we then have to find that position number and the corresponding parts list for that particular model. And once we do that, we can find some more information once we get there. And you will see that we don't get much information at all. All we get is a brief description and a part number and maybe some information on availability. So on this switch, we've got two versions. The initial one was obviously discontinued some time ago. The new one is still available and we can see there's a note on it. So if we read through the note, we now know that it needs a new shaft in order to be fitted. And that's obviously required. And with that information, we can order the part. But that's how we would look up parts for a SMEG normally.